Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we're looking at BBC's Doctor Who the 15th Doctor issue 1 from Titan Comics and this I, I think this was delayed by about a week I think this was meant to be released a week before last however it ended up being released last week and I'm usually always about a week behind here are the characters we all know and love depending on what you felt about the new season. I actually enjoyed it, personally. This is written by Dan Waters. Artist is Kelsey Ramsey. Colorist is Valentina Bianconi. And letters by Richard Starkins of Comic Craft. And I apologize if I've got any names wrong. Our story begins with Ruby Sunday remembering when she was little, a dream. A dream about being in a shopping mall where she lost her mum. So she goes to the top of the shopping mall and looks down. And she, then she sees her, so she goes back down. However, it feels like she's not in the place. And we probably all had those sort of dreams. So, they are going shopping in a shopping mall. Mainly where this gauntlet has been rejecting its uh, scream off. And this is where it's originated from. So that is the idea. So this was uh, part of free comic book day. So if you haven't got that, I suggest picking up. I thought it was just going to drop that bit in here. Because it sometimes does that and then carry on the story. It has not. So you read if you are going to collect this run. You probably want to pick that up. Um, hopefully you can get that reasonably on the second market. Evil Bay, whatever you want. So, everything must go. Uh, which throws Ruby Sunday off. However, it's actually everyone must go. Because they've all escaped Earth. Because the uh, Iron Sphere, the Fermosphere, and lots of other technical... Exophere has all been affected, which means that the Earth is no longer protected and the sun is getting through and is basically burning the world. So, Earthlings adapted, as we know from, you know, season one, episode, what, two was it? We soon learned that uh, humans had escaped the dying Earth and uh, pretty much nobody stays apart from well this chap because this chap didn't want to go up in space because if you go up in space it's gonna fail eventually it's gonna fall the spaceship's gonna fall and maybe he's just scared of heights i would be the same because i'm scared of heights you know um we're actually going on a plane tomorrow and i'm uh i i get a little bit apprehensive but once i'm up in the air i'm fine you know, just hope I don't have to ever jump out or anything crazy like that. So, this fella has all that he needs, and all these other people as well have all that they need in this shopping mall that uh, has a, a sort of protection layer. He can eat when he wants, he can dress as he wants, he doesn't need to worry about anything. Even when it corrodes, etc., it, it is what it is. So, this guy, Samlia, uh, and I, I didn't recognize him actually to, towards the end shame on me i did read that comic book bear in mind it was back in may so uh he just enjoys doing what he's doing there's no money to be made here there's nothing to be made so it's a simple calm conversation so they go to so they go shopping get some nice clothes they get some food and uh this is where we learn in the future that the food is basically uh, waste protein, it's made from insects, skin, cells, fingernails, clippings, and the doctor obviously thinks it's yummy, whereas Ruby thinks, because she's from our time, right? We would all think, if we had to eat fingernails in a burger, even though it's probably very yummy. I'm not sure how the lettuce would taste. Anyway, looking down, this reminds me of Ruby's dream, and it being quite a uh, scary down there i do love with the food bit how they explained the food bit because when i was reading this i was thinking surely they're gonna run out of food you know and they've explained that really well so you know so the end of the world so it's time for a fashion show and i love the fact that they got tom baker's scarf in there as well and then all of a sudden it goes dark if where it's dark there is a solar storm so this is the moment where the dot says, 
when it's dark, this is when we investigate it, because when it's dark, things come out. And we see this little girl again here. And I'm still not quite sure if it is actually a little girl, because the little girl's not responding. I thought it was part of Ruby's referring back to uh, her, her dream, uh, because she's not talking, she's scared, she's in the shopping mall, nobody's here to look after her, and it's dark. Meanwhile, we get the Sumler, whatever you want to call him, it is um, reaching out to Ruby Sunday, reminding her of that scary time. And that's what made me think maybe this is her dream projecting itself here, making this scenario even worse. And it's also a distraction because the Cybermen get uh, the jump on them. So, they've been brought to a time when the Cybermen are there. Um, they will need to be under attack. I, I would have liked a bit more mysterious around some of these covers. Because the moment I look at this cover, I know who the bad guy... Well, sort of know who the bad guy is. We know that Cybermen are involved. It would have been nice for there to be a bit more cryptic in the first issue. Because... That was one of the things that I enjoyed about Free Comic Book Day. There was this mysterious villain. And we know there's a mysterious villain. But, you know, and perhaps he's only using these. I also like the reference around um, the broom. That you can change the handle ten times. And the brush ten times. And still think it's the same brush. It reminds me of Only Fools and Horses and Trigger. And he's brush that he's had for ten years even though it's not the exact same brush. So that's good old British humour right there. If you don't know what Trigger and the Broom is about, seriously, look it up. It's hilarious. So they're on the run, and the Doctor says, run for it, and they get separated. I'm not entirely sure because it's not exactly very clear. I think they just end up going in different directions by looks of it. And... Um, there's voices in her head, there's evil robots, and she's lost. At least it can't get any worse. Of course it can. There's some alien bugs there creeping out, which I absolutely think is wicked. So this is released in July. Like I said, I think this was meant to come out very late June. So the Doctor and the Cybermen clash while Ruby faces an insectoid threat, but it's... But is it everything as it seems? And what is the true nature of the terrifying evil that stands ready to unveil itself? So, yeah, and these are some of the other comics. I'll be honest, this is, oh, in fact, these are all the different covers that you could get. Wow, that's quite a few. I think originally I went for this one, and then I ended up going for this one. It's hard to decide. I'm, when it comes to comics, um, I really do like to see them in comic forms. So... This wouldn't, for example, appeal for me because these are the, the actor and the actress. Whereas this and this certainly would. And this wouldn't appeal to me as well. So I'm always going to try and go for the comic sort of cover, if possible. And here are some of the other stuff out there. Wow, there is a lot. I'm not going to try and get into Doctor Who comics like this because this is a this is a rabbit hole, literally. I may if I get bored. Um which I don't suspect that's going to be for a couple of months. And maybe I'll think, hey, do you know what? Go get some graphic novels, son. You go do that. So anyway, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a lot of fun. There was a lot of quirkiness. There was a lot of the, the doctor in there. Lots of bits that I enjoy. And I actually really do like these two characters. I really enjoyed them in the show. I'm looking forward to, obviously, when season two comes out uh, next year. Well, that's a wait now. I guess, I mean, I hope we get a Christmas special. Um... Yeah, usually they say if there's a Christmas special at the end of that season, there was nothing, was there? So anyway, hope you like my video. If you do, please do support my channel by subscribing. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.